Hey guys, Hot Rod Reverend here, back at it again with another one today. And this is the big question that a lot of people have is what is the difference and what is the big deal with the Y Block, Ford, and Mercury distributors? There's so much misunderstanding out there about what Ford did in 1954, 5, and 6, and then the big change they made to the distributors from 57 and following. What I have here is a 57 to 64 distributor. Basically, this is a 64 F100 distributor. If you go down to the parts store, you ask for one. That's basically what you're going to get no matter what you ask for from 1957 to 64. You're going to get the same exact distributor, maybe Cardone, maybe Napa, whatever it might be. Okay, But at any rate, in 1954, when Ford came out with the Y Block, what they had was what's called a Lodomatic distributor. That meant that each, each carburetor, two barrel, four barrel, whatever you had, was especially matched in vacuum signal to that distributor. And that distributor only had vacuum advance. No mechanical advance from 1954 to 1956 with the Ford Y Block distributors. Since the signal is especially matched to the distributor, the vacuum signal from the carburetor, understand something. Those carburetors from 54, 5, and 6, 2 barrel, 4 barrel, are going to have a very, very strong signal because the vacuum, as you're driving the engine and you, 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 know, you call for more ignition and call for more advance as you accelerate, is kicking more vacuum over to that uh, vacuum advance canister and, of course, making sure that you've got enough ignition that you won't have any problems and you won't be retarded and all that kind of thing and you won't be sluggish. The issue arises when somebody has a 54, 5, or 6 Ford Y block and they want to change out the carburetor to something modern, like maybe a Holley 1850, a summer carburetor, Edelbrock, whatever it might be. What ends up happening is most of those owners who are unfamiliar and don't know anything about the Lodomatic distributor and what Ford did in 54, 5, and 6, they'll go ahead and throw that carburetor on there and then the thing will run like a dog. Why? Because there is no mechanical advance in the 54, 5, and 6 distributors. And because the vacuum signal from your modern carburetor, 57 to, to the modern day, whatever, is really sending out a, a pretty proportionately a, a weaker vacuum signal, weaker ported vacuum signal that, that, that's just for to, to, to get you off idle and all that kind of thing. So it's very, very, very important that if you upgrade your carburetor, you also make sure you swap out your distributor for a 1957 on up model that will give you mechanical advance. Now you may be wondering, what are the issues? What if I, what if I decide to run my uh, original carburetor, 54, 5, and 6, the Holley 94, the Holley 4000, uh, and then I, I, I want to run a modern or the 57 on up distributor that has the mechanical advance. Here's the thing that will take place. Your 54 to 56 distributor carburetor, excuse me, 54 to 56 carburetor is going to be given out and putting out more vacuum than what your vacuum advance from your uh, 57 on up distributor actually needs. You're going to be you're going to be risking detonation. You're going to you're going to be chasing tunability issues because you've got so much vacuum coming from your original carburetor over to your distributor. You want to make sure that your ignition and obviously the, the, the vacuum signal from your carburetor is, are working well and working in, in tandem and in unity together. That is so important. Of course, we already mentioned this, but, but if, you, if you end up upgrading your carburetor to a 57 on up, and it's maybe something in modern day or something aftermarket off the shelf, and you don't, and you decide not to upgrade your distributor, your engine is going to be so sluggish. You're going to feel like you're always retarded. You'll never be able to get enough advance out of it because you have no mechanical advance in the 54, 5, and 6 distributors. The question comes up, how do I tell the difference between the 54, 55, and 6, the Lodomatics, vacuum vents only, and 57 on up? Here's the easiest way to tell. Take your distributor and just pop the cap off. And let me show you a photo right here. When you pop the cap, if you see the advanced springs on your breaker plate, then you know you have a Lodomatic distributor for your Y block vacuum advance only. If, after you pop the cap, I can't see any advanced springs, 
the vamp springs are underneath of your advanced plate, then you know you have a 57 to 64, or maybe an aftermarket, whatever you might have. And then you know that you have mechanical advance and vacuum advance. It's so important to know the difference between those two. Now, some guys will, will talk about this, about the caps and, 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 and cap height. At 54 to 56, the cap height is different. If you got two to compare, then you could see it. If you, if you can't compare them and all you've got is one distributor, that's the easiest way to tell whether or not you have mechanical and vacuum or just vacuum advance only with a load matic Now, there's a lot on my channel here on YouTube with the playlists and everything for ignition, carburation, intake manifolds, and especially just, just being peculiar to the Y block. I think it'd be a big help to you if you, took a look, if you took a look at a lot of the other videos. Also on my website, hotrodreverend.com, I've got quite a bit there and it's all categorized and you could, there's, a, there's a search uh, search bar there that you can fill in what you're looking for and it may be easier to find. Of course, I've owned my 1955 Ford Club sedan since I was 16. I've been fooling around with Y blocks for a little bit and uh, want to encourage you to take a look at this thing and try to figure this out before you just start swapping parts It'd be helpful for you to get the best performance and drivability out of your Y block engine, your car, or truck, or vehicle. I think it'd be a big help to you. Thank you for stopping by today. It's uh, my privilege to be called the Hot Rod Reverend. And some of you guys have been asking for stickers, you've been asking for gear. We got ball caps now, we got shirts and different things over in the shop at the website. And then, too, I want you to stop by the page that had, uh, gives my biography. Why do I have this name? I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and it's my privilege to uh, be a minister, an ordained minister of the gospel and preach the Bible. And also, I really enjoy mid-50s Fords and uh, high performance, so a guy gave me that name about 15 years ago, and it kind of stuck all these years. I'm glad to have it. So anyway, I can help you. Drop something here in, in the comments below or shoot me an email, dan.jessup at hotrodreverend.com. Love to help you out in any way that I can, be that physically with the with the Y block and your mid-50s Ford or spiritually and your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a good day.